Hello everyone, welcome back to DIY with KB. My name is Kiva and today we're going to Home Goods. It has been a minute since I did a Home Goods shop with me, so I had to go see, see what was new and I think I found a lot of great things. Now everyone has been talking about those Sarah Brooks paintings right now. Um, this Home Goods only had one of her paintings, but they had a lot of very large canvases, which is great because the canvases at Home Goods are so affordable. So even if you don't like the artwork, they are such affordable canvases to paint over. You're not gonna get a better price at an art store or anything like that. So I love looking through everything, even if something isn't my vibe, I'm still gonna contemplate taking it home. And now this piece, they still have at Home Goods for $400. I have all the materials to DIY and I just haven't gotten around to it. Shame on me. I loved this piece of art. I like the blue in it. If I'm going to add color to my home, it's going to be a soft blue like this or gray, if you'd even consider gray as adding color. Um, but this was a pretty good selection. This particular home goods has a great selection. Now this table really intrigued me. It would make a really nice console table if you don't mind the like, you know, clasps that allow it to fold out. Now you guys know I have too many rugs in my house already, but I've been searching for this one rug. My guy Reginald on Instagram got this beautiful Laloy rug at Home Goods. He said it was $129 and every single one of my clients has been dying for it. So I have been searching. I have been searching. Um, hopefully one day I find it, but honestly, I was impressed with some of these rugs. I never actually go to Home Goods on the weekends. I normally go like either Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday, Thursday, all the days that aren't the weekend pretty much. Um, and sometimes the stock obviously isn't as good because they put the good things out for the weekend, but they had a lot of good rugs. Now, what I like to do at Home Goods, if I see a rug that I think is overpriced for Home Goods, like the Safavia rugs, they are always cheaper on their actual website, on Amazon, on Rugs USA, on Walmart.com. So I take a picture of the label and then I look it up at home and if the price is better online, I order it from there or I go back to Home Goods and scoop it. So a few videos ago, I bought these lamps, but in gold, and I found out they, they have them in black, which I really like. Again, they have the USB port. I feel like the silver detailing is a little weird, but I always like a nice black lamp because it can work pretty much anywhere. I also ventured into the organization section of Home Goods. Now, I normally don't film stuff like this, but I love to organize. I buy all these containers and they like rarely actually help me get organized, but I have a nice time. I feel like I've said this before, but Home Goods has really like decreased the amount of home decor they have and they have a lot of other things. And while I don't agree with most of the other things, I feel like all of these really discounted um, organization things are really, really nice. I think it's also really important to go to like the kitchen section of home goods because they sometimes have things that can be repurposed in other parts of your home. And then I had to stop by the card section. If you guys don't know this about me, fun fact, I love cards. I love to write cards. I'll write it for anything. If someone, if I look at someone funny, I'll write them a card. If their dog is having a birthday, I'll write them a card. I just love cards. And I especially love the ones from Home Goods because they're normally $2 um, and really good quality. My birthday's coming up and I have so many cards. I'm just gonna like write to myself because I don't really have anywhere else to put these cards. But that's just like a little fun fact about me. Now this was really cool. This was an amethyst set. And um, if you watch Arvin, you know he does like those geode bowls. And I feel like you could do a small bowl with these ones, just like a small sort of something like um, on a console in the front of your house. I also wanted to show up these lamps. These are great RH dupes, they're $50. And they are some swing arm lamps. Now they're a little bit more like traditional looking, which I kind of like, they're not as modern. And I think I like to intersperse modern with traditional because I don't think like modern is particularly homey. But anyway, I love these lamps. They also had the floor lamp version as well. Oh, and they had it in black. I didn't like the black as much though.
Now, like we always talk about, Home Goods sometimes does have some good coffee table books. Again, I'm always gonna suggest that you get them from Amazon where they tend to be more affordable, but sometimes they have a few that are worth investing a little bit. Um, so I found the Altering Eye, which I really liked. Now today, on this day, Home Goods really wasn't doing it for me. Um, I feel like they have a lot of the same things over and over again, which is fine, but I know sometimes we want our homes to look a little bit unique. But what they did have is a lot of good coffee table trays. Now using a tray is a really great way to separate the decor on your coffee table. And so they had some like leather ones, some faux green ones, um, just a lot of different options. And I actually like the ones that don't have any gold or silver detailing because it's more versatile. And while glam is not my thing, I thought that this was super pretty. Um, that's really all I have to say about that. It was pretty. And then they had these chairs. These chairs scream Kirkland's to me, but I like them. $3.99 a piece for a nice wing back chair like this is a really great price. This would go in a traditional or farmhouse home though. I was like screaming for babe to come over here to look at this. This is like a bench that extends on both sides. This would be phenomenal to put at the end of the bed. It's just like a really nice rustic looking piece that could go in a bohemian space, a modern space, a modern bohemian space, a farmhouse space. I just really liked it, especially for the price, which I think was around like $200. I think maybe even. So Home Goods has a lot of sets right now. Um, they're just really affordable. They're forty dollars for two pictures. So this is really good if one you want like a canvas or some frames. But some of the artwork is really nice. And what I will say is that if you love a painting at Home Goods but you don't want to pay for it, take a picture, go home, and DIY it. Now look at these pillows. I didn't know how to feel about them. I was like, what an interesting idea, but I don't know where you'd put them. I'm not hating on them. I'm just like, where would you put them? I don't know. I put it in my car and then I put it back like a second later. And yes, I put it back in the right place. <laughs> and then they also had these shelves. Babe was just like really wowed by these shelves. They just look like shelves to me, um, but they're a really good price, but I personally would get them from Value City because you're gonna get something bigger and a little bit more sturdy, plus they'll bring it to your house. I totally love this because this was just like a fancy slinky and like who doesn't love a good slinky? They were like my favorite things when I was a kid. I could not figure out how to get them to walk down the stairs. I mean, honestly, I was furious. But anyway, I really liked this um, mounted plate. I probably would paint the stand black because I don't like the woody color and I loved this bowl. but you could also DIY this bowl with like some type of paper mache. Um, but it was 40 bucks, which for a bowl this size of good quality is not very much at all. I also loved this planter, but I didn't quite know what to do with it. I mean, when I have an outdoor space, I don't even know what's gonna happen. And of course, as per usual, there was this one. This is a great if you have a nice outdoor space or like some steps leading up to your house, this would be a really great piece. Also, I am so, so, so hype about this cloche. I am trying to do some like high end looking fall decor, which, you know, is honestly like an oxymoron, but I'm going to try. And I thought this cloche would be a really great way to start. And honestly, I was impressed with the glassware. I normally don't look at glass at home goods, but they had so many apothecary jars and nice vases for a nice, like, um, faux plant or real plant piece to go on your console or your Island. Um, I just was really happy with the selection. These Tommy Hilfiger lamps screamed RH Modern to me. Um, I love the mixture of the wood with the gold. It's almost brassy, which obviously is less gaudy. And they are 60 bucks, which I think is a great price. 
this piece was fantastic for the price this would be fantastic if you were in like a mid-century modern space or a scandinavian space you could do really anything in there sometimes people do like um succulent gardens in their furniture and i think that that is so cool looking obviously like i could never maintain it but such a good idea I love some good paper art. Now I don't have it in my house because it doesn't go with my style, but this for $129.99, this is the best price I've ever seen on something like that because that was massive. Also, how do you feel about these marble lamps? I was like kind of into them. I don't know what kind of space they would go in, but one was 70 bucks, the smaller ones, and the larger ones were... $99.99, I knew that, I shouldn't have waited. Um, but I thought they were pretty cute. Again, don't know what space they'd go in, but I'm here for it. But I ended up liking these Rachel Zoe, or Zoe, I'm not sure, um, ones even better. I liked the gold detailing at the bottom, they were more affordable, um, and they just like were like a look. I don't know what else to say besides that, that's just how I feel. Sometimes things just like draw me in, and I'm like, okay, I'm here for it. I love this ottoman. If you need a nice narrow ottoman um, and you want a metal base, Home Goods is a great place to go. Tommy Hilfiger also is just like really getting it together. And this reminded me of the French contemporary kind of aesthetic that they have at RH um, as a small little ottoman moment. I didn't even know Babe found this mirror, but I like it. And this is a really nice like farmhouse or bohemian console. It was a little pricey, but because there are so many drawers, I mean, I think that that's pretty reasonable. Now this rug, again, Safavia, so look it up online, but this is a great RA to do. It's just like a nice neutral rug. Sometimes you don't want your rugs to be doing too much. You just want them to be simple. And this achieved this so well. Plus it was eight by 10, which is huge. I also just loved this. I have literally no need for it, but it was beautiful. And this, if you're into like, you know, bright yellow, I was here for it. It was nice and abstract. I love a good, exciting look. Plus, it's Leloy, you know, you can't go wrong. And I was at Home Goods for like the 20th time this week because I was shopping for clients. Now you're gonna hear my shameless plug. If you're interested in virtual design services with me, send an email to DIYWithKB at gmail.com. We will hop on a call and talk about every and anything that's going on in your house, how we can fix it. We'll come up with a shopping list and we will get your home looking like your dream home, which is what all of us really deserve. Now, regularly scheduled programming, they didn't have much going on. I like this vase. I didn't love the color, but I love the world traveler like section of home goods. Everything is always on clearance. And I'm like, hey, this is the best stuff ever. Increase the price, I'll still buy it. If you watched my most recent kitchen organization, you saw that I only had like literally three mugs. So I wanted to pick up some clear mugs because Julia Havens has some and literally everything she does, I want to do. Um, so I got these, they're only $9 and I just had a pumpkin spice latte out of them and 10 out of 10, I did not burn my hands. I also got this cookbook stand for $30, a little pricey, but I love the wood accent. This home goods also had a lot of apothecary jars, so you know. And finally, I just bought Magnolia Table at Target for like $30, but it was so affordable at home goods. So this is a case in point of finding a good book. Guys, okay, I'm sorry. You guys always yell at me for talking too quickly, but it's just because I'm so excited. They had this magnetic wall mounted spice rack. Now I just got a spice rack, but this was so cute looking. I also found these cabinet pulls. I mean, I don't have any cabinets that need any pulls, but $10, I like the gold detailing. And then after we went to Home Goods, we went to Joanne. I know you're like, I'm here for the Home Goods, what about Joanne? Joanne has amazing home decor things there and you guys are sleeping on it. You know, it's not just for quilting. There are so many things in Joanne and Michaels and Kirkland's and Hobby Lobby, but today we're at Joanne. So everything is quite literally always on sale. I mean, look at these placemats. These are so cute if you're like into boho or mid-century modern. And they also have like 
random pieces of just like large decor. They always have vases. I mean, they have literally everything. You just gotta go look. And you see, you literally have not seen a single shelf or area of shelves without something that says some type of sale on it. And that's what you wanna do if you wanna save some money. These vessels that are so in right now are only $12. Case in point, look at these vessels. They're so cute for $20 and they're 50% off or maybe even 60% off, which is an amazing saving. They also had these more neutral looking vessels. This would be great in like a modern bohemian space, also 50 or 60% off. Then they had these for 70% off, totally neutral, could look in a modern, look good in a modern space, really anything. If you're following me, this will look good in your space, I'm telling you. And should you ever find something actually full price at Joanne, you can always get coupons online. Now, I loved these because if you're trying to get like that raised moss look that they have at RH, but you don't want to buy it from them, you can get something like this and just fill in the middle with a few moss pellets. Um, but this really makes that shape that you want. Plus, they had apothecary jars and I'm just like really digging those right now. Also, if you're into DIY at all, you gotta go to Joanne because they have these huge clearance item aisles. You're gonna get, find stuff for like a Cricut, if you're doing fabric work, paint, stuff for your kids. I mean, they have everything. And something I try to do every time I go to any store is go down the kids aisle because the kids have got some great stuff. For example, look at these paintbrushes. If you're a beginner, this is exactly what you wanna get. You don't wanna spend all that money on paintbrushes. This $11.97 for 144 pieces. You literally can't beat that. And there is almost never a time where picture frames, poster frames, canvases aren't on sale. If they're not on sale at Joanne, then you go to Michael's, they're on sale there, and then you go back to Joanne the next week because then they're back on sale. This is great even if you aren't into DIY. Just like everybody needs picture frames, right? Right. See, I said it and they appeared 40% off fine art canvas. They have so many different sizes. Um, some of them are primed, some of them aren't primed, but I mean the prices, you cannot beat them. Plus, I have been getting this super value pack. Oh wait, I'm here, I'm excited about these paintbrushes. I begged for one of these paintbrushes. 25% off high quality paintbrushes, that's amazing. But anyway, the super value pack, this is what I use to do like my instructional videos. You get 20, 16 by 20 for $50. And for those of you painting a mirror, this is the paint that I used and it is on sale at Joanne right now. Terracotta vessels are also on sale right now and you can just leave them as is or you can spray paint them. They also have tons of clear vases. I mean, if you're doing a floral arrangement, if you're trying to have a centerpiece for your table, you can do really anything. Some of these prices are like the thing that I'm picking up with the sale. I mean, it's lit. They're giving it away. They're just giving it away and I'm here for it. And obviously I didn't want this, but you see this buy one, get four free. I mean, what? That's amazing. Buy one, get four free. Plus, I had to look at some pumpkins. You know, I had to get a little some some. It's the fall time. You know, the fall is when everything is nice and cozy. You got your cool clothes on. You got to decorate. They also had these vessels. For literally any type of style, they're going to have something. They have wooden vessels. They have clear vessels. They have more antique -y looking ones. I mean, honestly, I should be a Joanne spokesperson. Seriously, like sponsor me, Joanne, please. Love you. <laughs> oh, those wooden ones. Okay, I really just went wild on this day. I also went to Kirkland because I found some amazing pompous grass there and I was like, maybe I need to give them a try. I'd stop going because they're farmhouse, but they have such great vessels like this one. This huge pot, just like the one I got from Home Goods last week for 60 bucks. Now this map, has put Kirkland's back on the map, the shopping map. 
because look at this a three-piece set this is so rh they definitely have something like this on the website originally four hundred dollars half off for two hundred dollars this can go in a dining room an office a living room anywhere also, did you guys know about this? They have all of this garland at Kirkland's, all of this Studio McGee looking stuff, way more affordable. They have tan, black, white, blue, any color. This set also, I honestly, it's really not my vibe, but it was on clearance for $102. And if you wanted to do a nice three set, you could paint over this and you wouldn't have spent too much money on it. This is the vase that I bought last week. I still love it. Mine has pompous grass in it. And by the way, Kirkland's is, they have pompous grass in right now, gray and tan. So if you want some, go check on the website. And also just look at this. Ugh, this is just so cute. Sometimes I wish I did have a little farmhouse, but what on earth would I look like? <laughs> I am like all about modern decor. I don't have a farmhouse. I live in the middle of Pittsburgh, but anyway, love it. I mean, literally everything in the store is on clearance. I mean, oh, this napkin holder, it looks like garland. This would be a great DIY though. I also love these ottomans because they are so narrow, which is good if you're working with a smaller space, but you need some type of bench to put your pillows or clothes on. And they are $149.99, but again, coupons. Okay guys, that's a wrap. Thank you so much for shopping with me. I did so much shopping, I couldn't record a haul, but let me know if you wanna see that. Please remember to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and check me out on Instagram. Until next time, have a beautiful day.